We are trying to think hydration comes from a week, not a day. And it's not just water. You do have to think about minerals, sodium, potassium, and everything in between. Magnesium, that's another critical one. How should an athlete's hydration strategy change during competition? Hydration is gonna start three, four, or five days before. If you're an athlete and you're serious about your craft, you should be focused on being hydrated all the time. If you're a high level CEO executive, you should also be focused on hydration all the time. Any other profession, you should also focus on hydration. Hydration is absolutely critical, but it's not just water. You need minerals, potassium, sodium. Yes, salt is good, table salt is horrible, but a full mineral spectrum salt is really, really beneficial for you. I start with one uh, half teaspoon every single morning in 16 ounces of water. That is how I start my day every day. If I travel, I bring it with me. And I basically wanna make sure that I'm focusing on having adequate amounts of sodium, potassium, and a lot of the other electrolytes and minerals. So I do think it's really critical for everyone to do that. Actual game day for athletes, you do need some level of sugar, a simple sugar. Stay away from anything with dyes or high fructose corn syrup, of course but you do want some dextrose, something that's gonna get into your body quickly for the energy perspective. But hydration, again, starts with days in advance. If you're playing in a multi-day tournament, then it's definitely really, you should think about getting that 1,000 to 2,000 um, you know, milligram electrolyte drink twice a day, once to twice a day, because it will play a role on day two or three of that tournament. And I'll link some of my favorite products in the uh, description.